Welcome back to another episode of The Perfect Pairing Show, where we take delicious dishes and pair them with our favorite wines or cocktails. I'm Chef Travis, as always. And I'm Dione. So, Chef Travis, what is on the menu today? This week, we're doing slow roasted pork with our gin. So, Ooh. how are we going to jazz up our gin today? Okay, well, always drinks come first. Mm -hmm. So, we are making a gimlet. Okay. So, or gimlet, gimlet, as they say in Paris. <laughs> um, so, a gimlet is basically like a gin drink, right? Mm -hmm. So, we are taking a shot of gin. Now, for our viewers, I just want you to know that Chef Travis is not a fan of gin. Not so, at we all. are going to take it easy for him. But, well, I will tell you this, though. In college, right, my freshman year, I used to hang out with a group of guys that I used to work with at the YMCA. And we used to go to a very popular restaurant off of Hillsborough Street in Raleigh. Uh-huh. And um, I did two shots for two people. Two okay. shots to two people. Okay. There we go. And um, I would tell you, like, I was definitely not of the age to drink. She's adding uh, fresh lime juice in here, yes. right? And the waitress came in to me and said, what would you like to drink? Only thing I could think of was Snoop Song, Tangerine Tonic. So that's the first time I've had gin. Okay. And I definitely had tangerine tonic. But anyway, so and what simple, did you do simple here? Simple uh, syrup. So simple syrup is just sugar water, basically. A gimlet is a very simple cocktail. Just three ingredients. Shake gin, in. fresh lime juice, simple syrup, right? Now, I like gin. I like this Hendrix gin. Mm -hmm. Um... You can use, tasty. You can use any gin you want. The only gin I found that doesn't work with this is like the Bombay East because it has like black spice peppercorn um, note to it. Oh, you want something with freshness in it, right? Yeah. And you so can also the lime use, juice helps a lot with that. Yeah. And you can also use cucumber juice if you have it. We're gonna okay. finish Oh yeah, it. garnish yeah. with the cucumber if you so choose, please, if you so please. Um, feeling fancy. Feeling fancy. All right. Here. Cheers. Cheers to I it. hope you like it. Okay. Oh, that's good. Yeah, the cucumber definitely gives a little fresh bite to it. Yeah. I think I would definitely want to take it, put it inside there, add to the extraness of the lime juice. That is good. And just sip away, that's right? Nice and refreshing. Yeah. So guys, let's Baby, get into not what that we're. Bad. Yeah, it's not <laughs> bad. So let's get into what we're gonna make today, right? First thing we want to do, we're gonna pickle up some radishes for to finish off our tacos. Okay. What I like to use as far as my pickling juice is rice wine vinegar. Right? Awesome. So you can just drizzle some of that in there, coat it really good, and we're going to finish it with uh, a little bit of apple cider vinegar. Oh, we mix some vinegar. It's fancy. Yeah. And we're going to put a little bit of cracked black pepper in there. So let me grab my little black pepper off camera, right? And a little bit of salt. And we're just going to let that sit while we cook. This is a quick pickling, guys. Crack a little bit of it in there. Nice. A little bit of salt. Radish is also one of those things that like when you're young, you're like, ill, what mm -hmm. is that? But now that, you know, you get older, your taste buds expand and you're like, okay. Mix that is, up. This is, this is good. Another thing you can do with radishes, you can slice them up, right? Get a little bit of sea salt, a little fresh butter. Put it on there and eat it as an appetizer and just finish it off. For you, for okay. the people who know, if you watch Good Girls, that was on Good Girls. So okay. anyway, <laughs> <laughs> next thing I want to do is I want to, um, we have olive oil in this pan right here, right? Okay. We're going to start warming that up for us. So a little olive oil going. I will take my drink. Put that on like the temperature, like mid temperature, right? Oh, it's so good. Mm -hmm. And we're going to get into showing you how we, you want to prepare your pork for your taco. So right here, this is oh. about a pound and a half of a pork tenderloin. You see how lean it is here, right? Oh yeah. We're gonna slice that in half. And so what I want you to do, we already have probably about a teaspoon of cracked black pepper. You can put, uh, this is, guys, is a great product I got from Trader Joe's chili Ch chili lime chili lime so you're gonna put a chili tablespoon lime, of that in there blend. what we're doing we're making a rub for our oh, 
for pork our tenderloin. pork tenderloin. All right, so chili lime seasoning mm -hmm. blend. And here's a garlic citrus seasoning blend. We're gonna do a tablespoon of that, all right? Weber's garlic citrus and basil. Mm -hmm. Sorry, got a tablespoon. Yep, about a tablespoon of that. Okay. Nice. Then we're gonna do a teaspoon of onion powder, okay. granulated onion powder. All right. Oh, a teaspoon. Mm -hmm. Oh, I was gonna do a tablespoon. Okay. And then uh, half a tablespoon of nor. You gotta be careful with your nor because it does have high salt content. Yeah. Unless you're just a person that fiends for salt, you really like salt, you can go from there. Okay. And what we do. So I hope I yeah, got the perfect. whole flavor profile yeah, together. Perfect. This is our rub for our for our uh, pork belly. Okay. You can take half, I'll take half, I cut it in half. We'll rub our pork down with it. This is very uh I'm gonna mix it all in there. This is very So guys, we're just taking our pork oh look at yeah, massage it in there, get it in there. <laughs> <laughs> Looks cue up mm -hmm. the uh the the, the soft music. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, we season our meat. We season our meat. We're just gonna rub it now. So save some of this to the rub because we're gonna put it in our black beans. The black beans are coming oh, up next. Okay. Everything today is slow and slow and slow and low and slow. We're gonna do it that way, nice and slow, like Usher would say. Um, I just wanna take it. Okay, did you get you any Usher bucks? Have you ever seen any Usher bucks lately? Cause I I want some Usher bucks. So. That, that's how I'm going to pay back uh, my student loans. Just student loans with your ush bucks. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So our oil should be good and hot, right? We're going to take it right here, guys. We have um, a slow cooker. You can get any of this at like Target or Bed Bath & Beyond, Pier oh, yeah. 1. This is a great Amazon. pork. Yeah. So you take your pork. I'm going to throw it in here and let it get... Look at that. You hear that? Hear that sizzle? Hear that sizzle? Sizzle, 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 sizzle. And you're going to, what we're going to do is while we're doing that, we're going to pan sear it and get it brown on each side so we can seal in the flavor of the spice rub, right? Okay. Um, so that's going to go. Right now we've melted about, um, I'd say about a, a tablespoon of butter in okay. our pot right here. We're going to add, we have some drained black beans. Oh, yeah. So we're going to add black beans into our melted butter. Oh, okay. Oh, Got me that. working today, guys. Hey, we can, you can take a break and take a sip of your gimlet if you want. We're going to take our spice rub that we made here. We're going to throw that in here. We're going to take some of, a little bit of our uh, chopped uh, red onion, throw it in here. We're gonna a little bit of our jalapeno. De-seeded, de right? De-seeded, so we, can take the, we just want the flavor of the jalapeno, right? Yep. And then we're going to put that back on there. On the um, on the heat, let that cook. Okay. The other thing that I add into my uh, slow cooked black beans is a little bit of chicken broth. Okay. For your vegetarians out there, you can definitely add um, veggie broth. Veggie broth. This is only about a half, like a one fourth cup of. Okay. Even meat. when I'm trying to be mm -hmm. vegan, I still gotta use chicken stock. There you in go. Like any of my recipes because the flavor. So you can just let those beans go. Just let them go okay. for about, you know, it depends on how long you want the flavor to get in there. You can let them go about 15, 20 minutes. Okay. So we got our pork pan searing, right? And we got to get our three clickies. Three clickies. Turn it over brown on yep. all sides. Ooh. Get, look at that. And it has like a nice crust mm -hmm. on it. Oh. Woo. Now, Excited. also, you might not have recognized, but we have, uh, we have our oven at 300. 300, warming up. So, um, again, this is a low and slow meal. Okay. So you're gonna take time, let your pork get all happy in there, right? All right. Not still anybody's phrase, but you're gonna let your pork get together. Okay. Cause you know, it smells like pork in here. It does smell like pork. <laughs> so, and what I found about- Interesting enough, we're doing this episode during Ramadan. <laughs> oh, are we really? Oh my God, what? I didn't know. <laughs> But shout out to y'all. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Actually, you know, that's really good. I mean, it is oh, really good. See? A little bit of that gin, but it's See? okay. I've been doing See, you'll be doing. Yeah. Doing. So, okay. <laughs> in this, um, also inside our pork, I got some chopped red onion I want to add. That's okay. going to intensify the flavor as it slow cooks inside our oven. 
Okay. So that's about, you know, a quarter of a cup of red onion we're throwing in here. Nice. We're gonna throw another quarter of a cup of cilantro in here also. Okay. And then finally, we're gonna throw about a spoonful of some chopped garlic, okay? You can chop it yourself, you can buy it in a jar, whatever you want to do. And then we'll finish it off. Okay. Because we're gonna make our braising liquid. Mm. With some chicken broth, okay? Like that. This already, this already smells crazy. Insane. <laughs> okay, and, and how long are we cooking this for? Now, you gotta be prepared. Okay. If you've got errands to run, go run errands. You can leave the house, let it do what it gotta do in your oven. You okay. go to Target, you can go hang out with the homies. I'm in Target easily three hours. You can take the kids to gymnastics or soccer. Okay. Soccer, you know, if you wanna do that. Um, if you're in Target for three hours, that's fine. But answer to your question, get some good poke going. You can let this roast for about, oh, make sure you have your uh, your racks ready. <laughs> but um, as always guys, check for all the, the ingredients. Ingredients in the description box. Measurements in the description box. Um, but this is at minimum, I would say let it go for eight hours. If eight you wanna, hours, okay. If you wanna start it at night, go to sleep and wake up in the morning <laughs> and do Oh, this. right before church, because you know black right, folks yeah. in church are good. So oh, yeah, because you, you go to church at eight, get out at three. Yeah, I, yeah. I went to a church. We went to church every day. Hot dog sales on Saturday. Uh, if my family's watching this, you know what I'm talking about. Hot dog sales at church? Yeah, because you was fundraiser, but you know. What, but. The hot dogs? Oh my gosh. And I take Chef a sip of, again. No country, y'all. Second time we're talking about religion and we, we're sipping. But it's okay. <laughs> We okay. God okay. knows my heart. <laughs> yes, he does. So we got our beans going right. Oh We're gonna gosh. slow cook in here. So what I found too, what, what I've delicious. been noticing lately, like if you attend like some spring or early summer weddings, when you're doing a cocktail hour, people are doing like upgraded tacos and things mm. like that. Yep. So with that being said, like weddings are interesting places, especially like when Dwayne finally came and mentioned to Whitley that he loved her when she was about to marry. What's the guy's name? I forgot. Byron. Byron. Yes. So this is very uh -huh. personal to me. Okay? okay. So that was like my favorite episode of A Different World mm -hmm. for a long time until I became grown. Okay. And I got some sense. Okay. <laughs> what does that mean? Well, you know, it's very romanticized uh -huh. and everything. Everybody loves Dwayne and Whitley. Um, but then the 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 adult Dione says she was about to marry a senator. Mm. Mm. And she fumbled the bag for Dwayne Wayne. But then he, I mean. But what okay. kind of senator was he though? You know, we don't know what his politics might have been, but he Did, might not have been wanting people to he watch might've. a good show that encourages you to go to an HBCU, you know? I don't know, but I don't know. True, true. Yeah. He seemed like a good guy. Oh, yeah. She cool. could, you know, they were campaigning for him. What is he anyway. like? But he was like 40 in that episode, right? I don't know. Papa Pope been <laughs> around for a long time, so I don't know. So we're gonna get into, with that being said, our topping for our taco is gonna be a mango pico de gallo, all right? I love everything mango. Everything you mango. You cannot go wrong with <laughs> anything mango. Anyway, go ahead. <laughs> so right here, again, going back to our de-seeded and chopped up jalapeno. This is one large jalapeno. We'll throw it inside of our bowl right here. Oh, let me get all these. Get all the nuts and crannies uh -huh. in there. Mm-hmm. We're gonna, we got, uh, Quarter of a cup chopped red onion right here. Throw that in there. What, you know what? Speaking uh -huh. of jalapenos, remember that episode where Whitley was pledging Kim okay. and the rest of the frogs? Yes, yes. And what did they put in her, they put jalapeno in her eggs or something. Did they? Or pepper. I don't remember. I think it was jalapeno. I, I just, no. Remember because she was going, well. What was the frogs represent? By their standards. Uh -huh. 
by their standards, Whitley was hazing them. Okay. And she asked them to make her breakfast. Greek then, organizations don't haze by the organization. No, <laughs> of course not. And they wound up putting jalapeno, jalapeno in her eggs. Anyway. Also, I added a whole Roman shot. tomato. And this is probably about maybe two tablespoons of chopped mango. Okay. Uh, if you don't want to do fruit, you can uh, definitely not do fruit. But I like okay. the mango in there. No okay? shade. Chef Travis, it's yes, not right. enough mango for me. Not I'm enough gonna, mango. I'm gonna let for you. you live. Okay. I'm a, I'm a mango mango fanatic. No, go ahead. You can go ahead and say you about to say you were about to say you're a mango freak. That's all right. I understand. I you you in these mango streets. That's all right. I get it. So, I'm right. Panamanian. <laughs> so and then what I'm gonna finish it off with? I'm chopping up some cilantro right here. Yes. Right? Yes. This is just a few like just a handful pinch of cilantro. Throw that in your pico pinch. de gallo. Pinch. Little pinch. We put a little salt and pepper in there. Okay. Squoze a little fresh lime juice in here. Nice. Oh my God, look at that. I like it. We're gonna crack black pepper, right? Yep. And what is this? That's gonna be a, a, another topping on our taco. Oh, queso, okay. queso fresco. Queso okay. fresco. Yeah, okay. Queso fresco. So, and if you so wanna just do, mix yeah, it all. Yeah, I'm gonna do this. this. Our Take beans are getting mango. right. Oh my God, look at these beans. They are getting amazingly perfect for this us. This smells delicious. This mango. And then next we're gonna uh, get our grill plate going because guess what we're gonna do on the grill? We're gonna grill up our tortillas for our tacos, all right? Okay. So. So some of us <laughs> do, do the uh, kind of shortcut way uh -huh. of putting it right on top of the burgers okay. that's how i do it now you can do it that way you can also wrap it up in aluminum foil put it on a sheet pan and let it bake uh um in the oven for like 30 minutes no not 30 minutes i'm sorry for like 10 minutes okay, okay. I'm, I'm over the top with yeah but i like the 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 grilled flavor uh -huh. so i tend to just put them right on the burner okay that's just me now I like to use uh, Mission Sweet Hawaiian. Um, They're Sweet Hawaiian tortillas? Tor yes, they what? are. You didn't know that? Oh, my oh. God. <laughs> what? You can definitely take the Sweet Hawaiian tortillas, right? Put some of your turkey from your Thanksgiving cranberry in there and make you a Thanksgiving taco. Now, I know that sounds fat, but it's okay. We <laughs> we want you to enjoy food here. Yeah. All right? So, How did you... This All right, this just blew my mind. Now, if you don't want to use store-bought tortillas, there's a lot of local t La Tiendas in your area. They make fresh tortillas there. Please support local if you can. Yes. Uh, that is definitely worth it. So we got a couple of tortillas. We're going to throw it on our... We're going to wait for our grill pan to get warmed up. But sweet Hawaiian... This just blew my mind. I, was, <laughs> I found that sweet Hawaiian works perfect because my kids like it, you know. Yeah. And again, we're getting an elevated taco. If you want, you can use ground beef or you can get uh, plant-based beef. All this works in here. Um, but if you, if you invite me over for your taco party, please do some elevated meat. That's all the thing I'm saying. All right. Okay. All right. That's all. That's all. So we're going to put our, get the little, because we want the grill marks to make it look pretty. All right? Yes. So. What else about Different World that you enjoy besides the the faux pledging on there? And... I know I didn't say that. <laughs> um, well, you know what? You know what was crazy to me? What was that? The whole Jaleesa Kerner, Colonel Taylor. Taylor Masturation, yeah. Because yeah. Colonel Taylor was like... 800 in there, right? Yes. Yeah, he was definitely 800. Um, shout so. out to Glenn Turner, legend. <laughs> but I yeah. was like, what? That whole... And then Colonel Taylor was actually friends with Walter. Mm. That was crazy to me. That's but when, when Sinbad left the show, right? Yes. Hey, did yeah. you ever see this movie that had Colonel Taylor in it? Like an old school movie. He was a pimp that was possessed, but he like... <gasps> Cole Wait. sliced this dude through his suit. The dude what? had a three-piece suit on, but the blade he had, he sliced him. I was like, damn, that's a short blade. Because how you slice him through a three-piece suit? You got to see the movie. What? What is it even called? I don't know, but Twitter put me on, so I, that's why of I Of course. Okay. Shout out to Twitter. Oh, my God. That is the most random fact ever. 
So we're gonna serve our tacos up family style, right? Okay. Serve our beans up family style. I think the beans are good to go. Look at that, beans are ready, good yes. to go. We're gonna put them inside here. Um, and I think, you know though, back to what you were saying why Jaleesa end up going with Colonel Taylor is because Sinbad left to go do a genie movie that was, I don't know what he was thinking. Is they, this the genie movie that everybody thinks happens, but there's like no <laughs> evidence that it ever it, it, even happened? It happened though, I promise you. It happened. Are you sure it happened? I don't know. I do know Were one genie the movie theaters? that happened that had Shaq in it with Shazam. Oh, we, we, we don't Scariest speak of that movie, movie I've ever seen in my life. We don't speak of that movie. That movie was scary. <laughs> I couldn't believe the acting in there, but hey. Has Sinbad ever weighed in to say yes or no that I, I, I was know, in a genie know. movie? Now, one thing I will say with your uh, beans, now you can finish them off. You can put a dollop of sour cream on here, right? Okay. Yeah, my kids gonna, love, love sour cream. We're going to put a little sprig of cilantro on top right here. Very pretty. Very pretty, guys. Look then at this. Then we're going to put a little corner of fresh lime on there. Then our beans are ready. We got our taco shells. They should be good to go. Oh, look at this. Oh, nice little char. Oh, my God. Look at this. Nice grill marks. Beautiful. So now we're gonna take our taco shells, right? Put them here. So this is a Saturday morning. You prep everything. Once you're done all your errands, mm -hmm. the kids are done their sports for the day, and you're ready to just chill and watch. Beachella on Netflix. Shout out to Beyonce. Um, uh -huh. That's what I was watching today. That's what were watching today. Um, you know, you want to sit down in front of the TV, get your taco night together. I do my uh, three clickies. Oh, here we oh, go. Here we go. I got some three clickies right okay. here, guys. Remember, three clickies let you know that it works. That's the that's the technical chef, uh, <laughs> you know, name for it. The so, three clickies. Now, with your pork, you can slow braise it in the uh, cast iron right here, yep. like I showed. But you have a slow cooker or a pressure cooker. You can also do that. Again, a pressure cooker lets it cook faster if you want to. But I do think taking the time with the pork, let it slow let braise. The flavors let the flavors marry. Let it marry in there. Marinate. Marinate. We're going to go right here. I did this version in a slow cooker. It smells wonderful. You can put our pork on here like this. Tenderoni. Tenderoni. <laughs> Macaroni Tony. Oh my God, Travis. Give me a young. And then as I put that on there, you can put oh. the pico de gallo on there if you want. Pico de mango. Pico de mango. <laughs> We're going to finish it with a uh, pickled radish and top it with queso fresco. Oh my gosh. Just when I said I'm going on a diet, you know, coronavirus is—it's is, <laughs> real. Know, it's real. It's still real, real, but things are coming. You know, going back to normal. So I'm like, okay, Dion, you need to get your life together. So and then like, but as you do that, I'm gonna put is some in the top of my diet at all, Travis. Pickle radish on there. That's gonna give us a little bit of freshness right there. A little crunch. A little crunch. Change some of the textural elements for you on there. And if you want to crumble off some of the queso fresco and just drizzle it, just like. Okay. Am you know, I just like, doing, am I like savage with it? Oh yeah, salt baby in it. You know, okay, salt baby okay. in it. You know All what I'm right. saying? Like just, oh, got it, yeah, got it. Just, a little crumble, crumble, crumble. Crumble, crumble, crumble. Crumble, 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 okay. Trust me, the sour cream is going to add an extra level of creamy and flavor to the, your slow braised black beans. Uh, I've shared this recipe with friends before. I know they've had, they've used it. And um Wait, we had these at um uh, New Year's Eve, right? Sure did. In Hawaii, you okay. know what I mean? We All did right. that with some um with some vegan sloppy joes. Well vegetarian sloppy joes, right? Yes. So that was it was a hit. So our beans are here. We're gonna taste test everything. This is what your tacos look like right here. Oh. I also have, I found this sauce I like, right? Okay. Um, I found it at the Teeter, Harris Teeter. Harris Teeter, shout um, out to the Teeter. But you can make it yourself too. 
But this is a guacamole sauce you can put on here. They're making it spicy, they're making it mild. Okay. This is mild. If you want, you can add a little bit of guacamole sauce to it like this. Little drizzle, little drizzle. And just okay. a little drizzle. We ain't gonna do all of them, but you yeah. want to. Also, don't forget with your tacos, you still want fre a little bit more freshness. So grab some limes, accompany them with your tacos. Squeeze your lime this. on your taco. You can squeeze your lime on your taco. I'll grab Family some spoons friends. for you. Look at this. Look, look, look at this. <laughs> oh, we doing hands. We not, we not, um, oh, for the beans. For okay. The beans. <laughs> I'm about to be savage with these tacos. I think I might go in with another gimlet. So, because this is great. This is actually not that bad for Jen. I know Jen make you sin. You. Might make you want to fight. But <laughs> not today. We're going to enjoy ourselves, all right? Yes. So we're gonna take a taste of this. Yes. Guys, as always, like we said, check the comments for the ingredients. Thank you so much for the support. Um, yeah, and let subscribe. us know. Let us know in the comments what types of recipes you wanna see. If you have a drink in your home, you don't know what to do with, let us know. We'll figure it out yeah. for you. Jazz up something to get it, let your friends drink Taste or whatever. The beans first. She's gonna go in the beans. I'm gonna go into the mm. taco. Mmm. Mm. The flavor. You call that goose. You got some. I have a taco. I don't know if y'all see that, but look at all that like, flavor and moisture. <laughs> mm, taco. But, see you next time for another time. episode of the Perfect Pairing Show. Thank you guys. Bye. Bye.